Another key area that we're trying to address, and it's very, very important to our families and our staff and the community at large, is safety and health. Our schools were built in the 1950s when you didn't have to have conversations about security and secured entrances. Many of our schools, immediately when you walk in, you are with the students. So currently, visitors are buzzed in at the main entrance and they walk through the main hallway into our main office where they sign in. We ideally are looking for a double secured entrance where parents or visitors are buzzed in through the first door we understand what they're here for, and then once we verify their identity, then buzz them into the second door. Another key area is health. Without a full HVAC system in each one of our schools, we lack airflow and we lack air conditioning. Those are two things that are needed for not only comfort, but to really have a high quality educational experience. And the pandemic has taught us that air quality is very, very important to the health and safety of our students. Teaching in an unair conditioned space is very challenging. It's challenging for not only myself, but my students as well, and the whole staff at Fairmount. The one big thing that we notice at Fairmount is when it gets really warm, um, it plays an overall impact on the morale of students and their focus. And even myself as a teacher, I start to focus on, are kids drinking enough water? Are they needing a cool down? And when you're starting a school year off, it's all about building relationships, and we tend to focus more on the temperature of the room. I have five fans that are running full blast. It's really hard to hear. The kids have to have their heads down. They just have such a hard time concentrating, and it, learning really is compromised in these, these situations, for sure. As a parent of kids in the district, I've seen my kids come home with headaches. They're sweaty, and they just look like they've had a really miserable day when their time should have been spent focusing on their schoolwork, building friendships, building relationships, and all of those things took a back seat to the fact that they were sitting in such hot classrooms. One reason people are attracted to Downers Grove is for the schools. After they complete their own research, many potential buyers discover that most of our schools lack air conditioning, they are outdated, it can be a concern. When we invest in our schools, not only will it benefit the students, it will also remove those potential questions and can attract more buyers, which in turn can increase property value for the entire community.